Hey guys, it's Christina, and it's been a while since I've done a uh, sit down chatty video, so <laughs> this is, um, hopefully this will be the actual intro to the video, because I tend to do a lot of false starts. Um, and I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind recently, uh, which has been the NFB, the National Federation of the Blind, uh, campaign, uh, kind of a I guess it's across all social media, but mostly I've seen a lot on Twitter. They have this um, hashtag let us play us uh, campaign going on. <clears throat> and uh, the first mention that I had seen of it, oh and by the way, this <laughs> this campaign is basically, it's about, um, you know, authentic representation in the media. Uh, you know, I don't know what their previous campaigns about representation have been. But um, for this one in particular, it's been uh, that they wanted to get that, that new show on the CW, uh, which is called In the Dark. They wanted to get it pulled off air because, <laughs> because the, the main actress who was playing the blind character wasn't actually blind. Um, so I'll talk about my thoughts on that at the end of the video. But anyway, so the first mention that I had even seen of this was when I was kind of scrolling around on Twitter, you know, I tend to kind of look on there to see, um, you know, what recent posts have been made, just in general, about um, either legally blind, visually impaired blind actors or um, actors with disabilities in general, just to kind of, you know, keep, keep up on the current events and see what's going on. And so I noticed when I was online that they actually had this Let Us Play Us uh, hashtag campaign going on at the moment and I thought well that's interesting when was this announced so you know I kind of scrolled through and I looked at the posts that were being made and they said that you know the main actress in the show needs to be blind um, so I went back uh, once that was once that had been completed I want to say it was maybe like a two-hour campaign or something like that I guess they were trying to get it trending um, and so I went back a little later and I was like well hmm when was this campaign announced um, and it could have been announced earlier than what I found but I found that it had been announced uh, two days prior on March 25th um, and uh, they actually had a uh, an article on the NFB website um, about it, so I'm going to go ahead and link that below. And um, you know, I guess what they're what the the from what I read, it seems like that the the point they were trying to make is that you know they they didn't believe the articles that they had read where you know I guess people from the show had said that they couldn't find a blind actress to portray the blind character. I don't know. <laughs> That's what they said, uh, you know, the NFB was kind of pointing at as their example for why they had this campaign going on. Um, and I did find an article that mentioned something about that, and I'll go ahead and link that below as well. And, um, you know, so kind of my thoughts at the time were, you know, when I was reading about this Twitter campaign, I was like, well, you know, I think this would have been, you know, more of like a trending topic if they had kind of given people more notice. And the other thought I had was, you know, if they wanted it to be a successful campaign, you know, not only uh, could they have given advance notice to people, but, you know, I mean, they also could have easily just reached out to Molly Burke, since she's like the, you know, the blind girl YouTuber. Um, you know, she's got a ton of subscribers and everything, and, you know, she could have easily gotten it trending. So around the same time the NFB announced that they were going to be going outside CBS uh, in New York to have this, uh, you know, they were going to kind of take to the streets and have this protest. Um, and I've seen a few p pictures on um, Instagram and Twitter, um, you know, because they, they wanted to get the show pulled off the air and completely redone with a blind actress in the lead role. And I thought, well, you know, that's... I mean, that's, uh, you know, that, that not only is that going to take a lot more work, but I mean, think of all the time and money that's already been spent into producing the show. Um, and plus, when I was looking at the photos, you know, the I, I felt sorry for the guide dogs that were out there, that were out there at the protest. They didn't ask to be out there. And I guess this is just kind of the broadcast journalism uh, 
part of me that, you know, I majored in broadcast journalism, so these are the types of things I would have been curious about, like, I mean, what kind of um, communication had they had with, you know, CBS beforehand, and, um, you know, I mean, did the, did this, you know, take to the streets protest accomplish anything? Did they eventually, you know, meet their goal of, of having a meeting with somebody? At the last minute, you know, taking these people away from, you know, what they're, what they've already got going on during the day and, you know, having like an impromptu last second meeting. And the other two things that I noticed actually that were going on that same day, uh, it was the start of the Real Abilities Film Festival in New York and also um, the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge was having a SAG after meetup. Um, you know, I mean, I'd be very curious, and maybe they are doing something currently, and I just don't know about it since it is the weekend of the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. But I mean, I would be very curious to see the NFB, you know, put together an entire film for the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. I feel like that either one of those things would have been a more productive use of their time rather than, um, you know, standing out on the street with signs. So on Thursday, last Thursday when the, the show premiered, I noticed that the Royal National Institute of Blind People had also kind of picked up on the story and were posting about it, asking people's views, because, you know, it's, it's great that everybody has, you know, a different view about this sort of thing. And um, I noticed that at least one person um, who is visually, visually impaired had mentioned that they had auditioned for the show. Um, and I also noticed that um, in a different, you know, in a totally different thread, um, Molly Burke had actually replied to somebody and said, you know, that one of the writers had, you know, kind of researched, um, researched for the role by watching all of her videos to kind of help, you know, put the, the, the character, the main character together. So then I went on IMDb and I actually noticed that, um, there's at least, uh, one of them had been mentioned on Twitter, um, and I don't remember her name as of the moment, but there's one girl, a visually impaired actress, that had been mentioned on Twitter, um, who was cast, um, and I see her listed on one of the episodes now, I'm not sure if she's on any of the others, um, and then in addition to her, there was also, um, Marilee Talkington who'd been, uh, you know, cast in one of the episodes as well as a supporting character. And I also saw a, uh, an interview with the main actress where she mentioned that two of the writers on the show are blind. I'm gonna go ahead and link that interview down below as well. Um, but you know, just, just reading all of those different things, I mean, it kind of drew me to the conclusion that, you know, the NFB didn't do all of this same research before they went ahead and decided that they were gonna, uh, that they were gonna go ahead and, um, you know, protest outside CBS. Um, and let me go ahead and get into my thoughts on the show. So if y'all have followed my channel for a while, y'all probably know that In the Dark is not my usual, uh, you know, type of TV that I would watch. Um, but, you know, it's, it's probably something I would have been more apt to watch, like, back when I was in college I was more into mysteries and stuff like that. I also think the show kind of makes too many references to the fact that the main character is blind. I mean, you know, they don't have to mention it and, you know, reference it in like almost every single scene. Like, we, we get the point. We see her with her god dog. We see her with the cane. You know, we, we know pretty easily that she's blind. Um, and then also, uh, I, I get the impression that the main character, you know, she has all these qualities that, um, you know, she, she drinks a lot, she, uh, she has, you know, a lot of one night stands, she's not, you know, she's, she's pretty rude to her dog, her god dog, um, so I kind of get the impression that she, she kind of changes over the, the course of the, the episodes this season, um, and, I mean, I really think that, just to kind of wrap this up kind of quickly, I really think that the, uh, the campaign, the Let Us Play Us campaign would kind of be better served if it had more of a positive spin on it and if uh, people were, um, you know, more more uplifting about the fact that there are, you know, blind supporting characters on the show. The show is new, it's just kind of, you know, starting to find its footing 
it's starting to find its audience and I mean there's no reason why the audience can't request to see more of certain characters that have already been on the show. Alright, so if y'all like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't, or aren't, what am I trying to say? If you aren't already subscribed, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe and um, I'll see y'all later. Bye.